Hi everybody and welcome to this video all about the reversible fuel cell experiment that you're going to do as part of the circus this week. Uh, what I'm doing here basically on my windowsill at home is I'm turning, I'm using solar power and a reversible fuel cell to, to turn water into its component parts which is hydrogen and oxygen. You see the reversible fuel cell there? I've introduced a very small amount of water into that earlier on and the, the very small amount of energy we're getting from uh, from the winter Welsh sun is breaking the small amount of water that's in that reversible fuel cell into its two component parts. Of course water is, the chemical formula is H2O. It's only made from those two very simple uh, chemical elements, hydrogen and oxygen, and the hydrogen that's being um, collected from the water is being collected in this vessel and the oxygen in that vessel. You see we've got a hydrogen vessel and an oxygen vessel. And if you look at the hydrogen, the level, not the level, sort of the upper level of the water, but the lower level, that shows that there's a, there's a vessel inside this outer cylinder that's filling very slowly with hydrogen. You can see at the moment, I don't know if you can see that, it's on about it's on about 10 and a bit at the moment. This is a very, very slow process. I'm going to come back later, bearing in mind it's on... It's just below 10 there on the scale. Just below 10 as it very slowly fills up with hydrogen and displaces the water that's in that inner vessel. I'm going to come back later and see if we produced any hydrogen. So this is two hours later, roughly, and as you can see, the hydrogen chamber within the cylinder is filled almost entirely with hydrogen. The oxygen is filled about halfway, and that's not uh, that's not because there's something wrong with the uh, with the way the hydrogen is being broken up. It's because, of course, in every molecule of water, there's there's two hydrogen atoms and, and only one oxygen atom. So in this experiment you always get twice as much hydrogen as you get oxygen. So we've got, we've basically broken water there, using solar power we've broken water into its two component parts and we've created some hydrogen and half as much oxygen. What I've done now is I've removed the solar panel and I've attached a fan. Now this is a reversible fuel cell as I mentioned earlier in the video because it can actually work the other way around as well, not just put electricity into it and it creates, it, it breaks water into hydrogen and oxygen but if you put hydrogen and oxygen into it it creates electricity. So I've partly connected this fan up now, I just need to connect the final terminal here and let's see if we can turn the hydrogen and oxygen back into electricity via the reversible fuel cell and the electricity back into movement. And there we go. And what the fan will do now, it'll, it'll gradually use up the hydrogen and oxygen. Now that fan has been fueled. I've got no batteries or anything in there. It's being fueled purely, it's being driven around purely by basically burning the hydrogen and the oxygen in the reversible fuel cell, which turns into electricity and makes the fan turn around. Try this experiment yourself. It doesn't it doesn't run for long. You can see the hydrogen being used up if you look carefully there. The hydrogen is actually being used up. But it'll run for a few minutes.